Stories have the power to affect us in strange and powerful ways across all forms of media. This is particularly true for video games, as players may spend tens or hundreds of hours invested in their favourite worlds and characters. Video games can also enhance these effects by masterfully integrating visuals and soundtracks to complement or enhance the plot in order to create a fully immersive and mesmerising experience. This may result in a story which refuses to release players until the final credits roll. However, there is such an influx of games released every year that it is possible for some truly magnificent stories to fall through the cracks. Depending on the developer's intentions though, these games still hold the power to make a player jump for joy, stare in disbelief at their screen, or even shed a tear. Some may inspire all these emotions in the span of a single playthrough. Everyone experiences games differently, but whilst their genres and mechanics may vary, all of the following games share a common trait. They all create and successfully execute their extensively well-plotted and thought-provoking storylines. I am Kirsten from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 little-known video game stories that will change your life. Number 10, Lost Dimension. Focusing on the notion that none of the characters can trust each other makes this tactical RPG a thought-provoking and nerve-wracking experience. The main character is Sho, a member of SEALED, an elite psychic task force entrusted with preventing a mysterious antagonist known as The End. So far, so dramatic. However, as the squad are sent to face this threat, they accidentally fall directly into his trap. This consists of a mysterious tower, which the group must climb floor by floor. However, progression is not as simple as simply scaling or climbing stairs. For each floor they face, at least one team member will betray the others. Therefore, Sho, using his mind-reading abilities, must deduct who the traitor may be and build up trust via missions, so that his companions will select the same decision. The game crafts a careful balancing act, wherein a mistaken decision cannot be reversed due to the save system, and the traitors are randomised throughout each playthrough. Only intense scrutiny and rational decisions can keep the group from being overran by traitors. These decisions are made even more difficult by the conversations and backstories the players uncover for each character, especially if a favourite character becomes a traitor. Number 9, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Level 5 collaborated with Studio Ghibli to create this game seeped in magical charm for both the player and characters within it. The collaboration is most notable, however, in the distinctive art style and colour palette, which makes this game stand out from its other RPG competitors. The story focuses on Oliver, a young boy saved from drowning by his mother. When this causes her to die shortly afterwards, Oliver's tears inadvertently causes a doll from his mother to come to life. Then this leads Oliver to learn about a mysterious other world, wherein an evil entity has taken control and broken the hearts of many of the world's inhabitants. The people there also share links with the people in Oliver's world. Therefore, once he learns that his mother's soulmate may still be alive, Oliver decides to go on a quest in order to hopefully bring his mother back to life. With such a strange and unusual narrative, the game contrasts this with a soft art style and a range of strange and lovable characters. The storybook-like aesthetic and narrative qualities evoke a nostalgic atmosphere, and yet the player is always at the helm of Oliver's actions, as his coming-of-age story develops throughout their choices. Number 8, Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods is a single-player adventure game, which puts emphasis on its characters and exploring them and their world, in order to create a heartfelt story and gaming experience. The focus is upon May, a college dropout who returns home and tries to reconnect with her past. She soon realises, however, that time and changing circumstances mean that not everything can be the way it was before. These ideas of change and a longing for past nostalgia are reinforced by the idea that there is something mysterious and unexplained in the woods nearby. This idea of coming home and seeking belonging drives the narrative as the player explores the vibrant town and meets its various inhabitants. The colourful art style and representations of the characters as various animals add an imaginative twist to this very realistic situation. The player chooses May's dialogue and actions reinforcing the sense of immersion. The game focuses its narrative upon varying themes such as mental illness as well as the supernatural in a thought-provoking and meaningful way. A Night in the Woods is definitely a game to be remembered. Number 7, Catherine. 
Developed by staff responsible for the Persona series, Catherine has been considered an even odder and more eccentric game ever since its original release. This does not prevent it from having an engrossing story, which twists and turns depending on the player's choices. The plot focuses upon Vincent and his girlfriend Catherine, as she reveals that she wants Vincent to take their relationship more seriously and for it to develop further. She wants his full commitment. This drives the panicking Vincent into the outstretched arms of the more free-spirited Catherine with a C, referenced in the title. However, Vincent does not want to make any definitive decisions and continues to cheat on Catherine with a K with Catherine with a C. Not at all confusing. Thankfully, the game has subtitles. It is this decision which drives the crux of the story, as Vincent is plagued by nightmares and the potential repercussions of his actions. The game divides its gameplay into socialising sections set at the bar and Vincent's nightmares, which consists of block puzzles that reflect his fears of commitment, through some truly grotesque and demonic bosses. The visceral consequences for failure, the bosses and the multiple endings make Catherine's story difficult to forget. Number 6. Ghost Trick – Phantom Detective Ghost Trick Phantom Detective is an adventure puzzle game originally created by Capcom for the Nintendo DS. Therefore, due to the staff overlap, the game has a similar tone and sense of logic as the Ace Attorney series. Players aren't catching criminals in the traditional sense, and this is mainly because the main character Sissel is a ghost. The game begins in a late night shooting in a junkyard and Sissel waking up with no memories. In order to reclaim these memories, Sissel is taught various tricks, which involves directly manipulating objects in the environment. These actions, in turn, directly affect how the story plays out. Another useful ability is being able to rewind time to four minutes before a person's death. This is important, because various characters, like the curious detective Lin, die a lot. They are also crucial to unravelling Sissel's own story, as well as the overarching narrative. The game does not brood on these darker tones, however, but integrates comedy into the absurd situations which occur throughout Ghost Trick. With a charming cast and quirky characters and a tightly focused narrative, this game does not shy away from exploring its own carefully crafted tricks and plot twists. Number 5. Yumi Neko – When They Cry Created by 7th Expansion, who are also responsible for the Hugarashi series, this is a visual novel recommended for any player seeking a story that masterfully entwines a range of genres including the supernatural, fantasy, detective fiction, domestic drama and even some romance focusing upon the annual yearly meeting of the wealthy Yoshiro Miya family upon the secluded island owned by the head of the family, inheritance quibbles and sibling rivalries soon transform into horror and suspense, as the island is isolated by a typhoon. This is when murders start occurring in conjunction with a mysterious epitaph under a portrait of the mysterious golden witch Beatrice, claimed to be the true master of the island. Battler Ushiro Miya denies the existence of witches. He challenges Beatrice to a battle of wits and wills, which transform horrific murder scenes into chessboard matches, as each opponent tries to outsmart the other. Spanning various scenarios and arcs, Yui Niko takes time to develop the entire cast and contains a story with more twists and turns than a roller coaster. Those seeking a detailed story, which masterfully trips Battler and the player at every opportunity, will find this a very rewarding experience, so long as they're not squeamish. Number 4. Stains – Gate Elite Combining the original science adventure visual novel with its successful anime adaption, Stain's Gate Elite is the accumulation of each medium's strengths. It combines a physically more fluid style with a deep narrative to create a fully immersive experience. The protagonist, Okabe Rintaro, or Haiyuan Kyoma, as he refers to himself, a self-confessed mad scientist. However, despite setting up and leading the members of the future Gadget Lab, he is yet to make anything useful. This all changes, however, when he accidentally creates a time machine which can send text messages into the past and affect the future. This leads to inquisitive investigations and experiments which initially seem to be harmless. It soon becomes apparent that only Okabe can remember the shifts that occur across timelines, as the past and present become more and more distorted. A mysterious organisation also seems to be interested in this technology and it soon becomes clear that Okabe and the people he cares about most are all in grave danger. Spanning many routes which develop the quirks and motivations of each cast member, Stein's Great Elite leaves it to Okabe and the player to reach the truth of this time travel story. Number 3. 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors 
a suspenseful mystery visual novel which combines a dark and compelling story with challenging escape room puzzles, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors is not afraid to pummel the audience with intense plot twists and a plethora of bad endings. The game starts with Junpei waking up aboard a ship, which is swiftly sinking. After escaping from his room, he encounters eight other people who seem to have been abducted in the same manner. They are then informed by the mysterious Zero that the ship will sink in exactly nine hours time. The only way to escape? Seek a door with a nine on it. However, it soon becomes apparent that escape will not be as simple as searching. Each character has a numbered bracelet attached to their arm, which acts as a detonator to the bombs implanted in their bodies. They must enter various numbered rooms in groups of three to five people in order to progress forward and the consequences for any potential rule breaking soon become fatally clear. Not all of the characters may be as innocent as they appear either, and with the clock ticking and mysteries piling high, an explosive conclusion is inevitable. Number 2. The World Ends With You Originally released for the Nintendo DS in 2008, this niche JRPG was overlooked by most players and despite an incredible soundtrack and anime-inspired art style, fell into semi-obscurity. Featuring an eclectic mix of characters who are all fighting to survive the Reaper's game that they have been trapped in for seven days, The World Ends With You does not skip delivering twists, turns and emotional impacts getting to explore the various locations within the alternate Shibuya, which gradually increase further as days pass by, is also an enjoyable experience. The mysteries it holds will keep players enthralled until the final credits roll. The story primarily focuses on Niku, an antisocial teenager who uses his signature headphones to block out the people and the world around him. This works until he realises he needs a partner in order to survive the Reaper's game and fight the noise, the monsters, trying to erase players. This leads him to pairing up with a seemingly cheerful and energetic Shiki, who is determined to befriend him as they complete daily missions. Over the course of this week, Niku begins to realise that he can and must begin to trust other people if he wants to survive. Number 1. The House in Fata Morgana this compelling visual novel unravels tales of gothic horror and suspense as they unfold within a cursed mansion over the course of a millennia. Your guide is a mysterious maid with ice-cold hands who seems to know the character very well, despite them having no recollection of her. To rectify this, the maid guides the player through the various rooms which harbour the tales of past residents who, who have all suffered various tragedies within their time in the mansion. The hauntingly beautiful soundtrack and art style only add to the uncanny atmosphere as the cast are revealed and share their desires and motivations. The themes of tragedy and regret are embedded within the very foundation of the game's story. Despite this, however, and the maid's constant foreshadowing of events, which for her have already come to pass, the player cannot help but be drawn further and further into the plot. The house in Fata Morgana proves countless times just how the road to hell may be paved with good intentions, but the well-crafted characters and story make it difficult not to long for the cast to finally reach the answers and happy endings they seek. And that's our list! What did you guys think of these video game stories? Leave us a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. But for now, I have been Kirsten from What Culture, and I'll see you in the next one.